हेलो व्यूअर्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल अपरा देखचन साइबर टॉक यूट्यूब चैनल साथ में अच्छी आपने तो होस्ट है माँ आज के हमरा आलोचना कर रहे हो कांडर रियल एस्टेट बिजनेस के इंडस्ट्री के क्षेत्र आम्रा जब वो एक ब्लॉग भी आज के एक्सप्लेन कर रहे हो तो एल जी उधर इंडस्ट्री निर्भर जो को वेबसाइट जिकन से क्या पर क्रिप्टो करेंसी इंश्योरेंस बैंकिंग सेक्शन ये अनेक धाने टॉपिक के आप रहे खाने वेब ब्लॉग पागल आप ब्लॉग बोलो सुंदर हवे एक्सप्लेन करा से खाने तो वीडियो डिस्कवर कर रहे हैं चैनल जो भी आपने नोटिंग है ताकि आवश्यक चैनल सब्सक्राइब करे जीवने � so, Canada is a new frontier for real estate investors by Melvin Pastrnik, updated May 11, 2022, reviewed by Doritha Clement. Owning property in Canada can be profitable if you understand the Canadian tax laws that apply to real estate investment. There is no residency or citizenship requirement for buying and owning property in Canada. You can occupy a Canadian residence on a temporary basis, but you will need to comply with immigration requirements if you wish to have an extended stay or become a permanent resident. non residents can also own rental property in Canada but need to file annual tax returns with the Canada Revenue Agency called CRA. Uh, this website key talk with for real estate investors looking to Canada can uh, diversify on portfolio of properties and granted an alternative source of rental income. US residents can own property in Canada without becoming a resident of Canada. But must report income of proceeds from a sale to both countries taxing authorities. Canadian bank offer mortgage and home equity loans with similar financing terms of those extended in the US. So property tax. When you buy a property, you pay a provincial transfer tax that varies from uh, province to province, but can be around 1% on the first $2,000 and 2% on the balance. Some expectation apply if this is your first property purchase in Canada. Municipalities also levy also annual property tax based on the assured property values which reflect the market value. School and other taxes are included in the municipal tax information on the current municipal tax on a specific property is generally ready available so new home purchases are subject to the federal goods and service tax gst but a part, uh, partial rebate can be obtained for new or builder a renovated home if you plan a plan to live in the home the gst doesn't apply to real uh, resale home tax on rental property the canadian income tax act required that 25 percent of the gross property rental income is remitted each year however Non-resident can, uh, can elect to pay 25% of the non-rental income after expense by completing an NR6 form. If the rental property incurs net loss, uh, then, then you may reclaim previously paid tax. Your income will be treated differently. Uh, depending on whether you are a co-owner or a partner and whether it's considered rental or business income.
so in you can deduct two types of uh, income incurred expense to earn rental income current operating expense and capital expenses the latter provides a long term benefit uh, the cost of uh, furniture or equipment for a rental property can be deducted against your rental income for that year however the cost can be deducted over a period of years as the, as these in uh, items uh, uh, depreciate in value the deduction is called the capital cost allowance property taxes and mortgage bank loans or line of credit interest rates are tax deductible in canada if the property is the investment property so the selling a uh, canadian property when a non resident sells in a canadian property the canadian government takes 50% of any sales as a uh, withholding tax American resident must also report the capital gain to the internal revenue However if the gain has been taxed in Canada it can be claimed as a foreign tax credit when a non resident sell in uh, sells a Canadian property the seller must provide a buyer with a clearance certificate paper prepared by the CRA without the certification the buyer can keep a, a portion of the purchase price as the buyer could be portioned personally liable to the CRA for any of the non resident unpaid tax If you are a resident of uh, Canada and the Canadian property is your principal place for residence you are not tax, taxed on the capital gain when you sell the property you can des uh, design it any residence as a principal residence as long as you ordinarily inhabit uh, the des uh, designation can apply to seasonal a uh, living uh, such as cottage or mobile home for a family unit only the principal residence is allowable each year this requirement has important impact for example if you own more than one property you must uh, decide which to uh, designate as a principal residence based on the capital gain for this year If you are a resident but property was not principal resident for all the years you owned it you must have uh, profit the capital gain for the years in which you don't uh, designate uh, the property as you the principal residence a change in use from rental to principal residence could result in a demand a uh, deposition targeting taxable capital gains however you could elect to uh, defer recognizing this gain you until you actually sell the home when you leave canada there's a demand deposition of canada uh, capital property in other words if you own canadian assets that have appreciated in value you will tax on those uh, gains if and uh, when you leave the country the demand deposition also may apply for a non resident property non resident property owner dies or when a property is transferred from an individual to the individual company or relative uh, even though the no money has been paid home equity loans you can get equity Uh, out of your canadian resident uh, residential property with a reverse mortgage or home equity line credit uh, hloc reverse mortgage is not uh, for everyone but 